Hello and welcome to the live Kriegspiel Thursday. This is Umpire James. I am at the moment here with uh, Umpire Park and Sean Mack. We, today's battle is a fictional scenario loosely based on the Battle of Highbridge uh, near Farmville. <coughs> um, but the, the premise or the, the scenario that we're playing out today is what, which is better, knowledge or power? Or can an, an advantage in knowledge overcome a deficit in power? So the Union division here uh, is twice the strength of the Confederate uh, division, um, but the Confederates have a number of advantages. Um, they have a better map, they have um, a better briefing, and most importantly, they have a man in a balloon riding high above the uh, battlefield that can see all and relay it back to his team. So, you know, how well can they coordinate their movements when they know fairly well, uh, you know, where the enemy is. Now, he is limited to how much he can communicate because he's using flags and whatnot. Um, but it's a de definite advantage in uh, in knowledge, so we'll see how that plays out and if they can overcome their being outnumbered. Uh, good news, James. Uh, Union 4th Brigade Commander arrived. Oh, okay, good. Um, okay, so he'll go under Sean then. So, Sean, you'll have him in third. Uh, okay. Is that right? Um... Yeah. Okay, go ahead and plop down and get his orders, too. All right. Um, let's see. Who's commanding Ramsey? Ken. I guess I forgot to ask this. Um, uh, how far can a, a normal commander see that's not in a balloon? <sighs> um, about a kilo kilometer radius. Of course, with this kind of map, there's going to be trees and hills and stuff blocking that, but, um, yeah. On, like, an open field, a kilometer, if he's, like, on a super nice hill, maybe two. Yeah. So, uh, according to the uh, this measurement system with 10 uh, equaling a mile, it's going to be about, like, 7.5? Oh, yeah, or a mile. Sorry, I said kilometer. I meant mile. But... Uh, it meant mile. Understood. Yeah. All right, so... I need a map, map clarification real quick. Yeah. Is, is this a train track or a turnpike? It is a train track... The road is the yep. this thing next to it. Yeah, like the Confederates are all stuck behind each other. Oh no, it's gonna be a train. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Did they all want to? Uh, that... They all. Both my guys want to be at the head of the column, and I'm like, well, and maybe. We'll okay. see. All right. Whatever. They all want to go towards these bridges, right? But there's no. There's only one road out. Yeah. That's all right. Oh, no. Let's we'll split off soon. That's where it's trains. All right. So we can go. I know Sims is being done, but uh, I think we can start taking 815 screenshots. Uh, okay. So let me take mine, and then whoever okay. has white squares, we'll fill in for you. So it's 815. Yeah. I've got the uh, white squares here. And I so can, that's I can do Sims because I'm doing um, Rosser as well. Uh, there we are, freeform. So he sent some dispatches to some units. Just trying to make sure I'm not screaming. So what? Yeah. What time are we at, battle wise? Uh, it's eight fifteen. Right. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. Eight fifteen. Eight fifteen. Eight fifteen. All right. Cool. Let's see. Okay, and then. Sorry, I didn't mean to ping. You're fine. Yeah, I've been. When I. Like, just tap a piece, it's been pinging, and I don't know why. Alright, so who. I did mine. Who else needs screenshots done? I'm doing uh, a man. Union CNC and uh, first Union first. Okay, but who needs them done because they can't show them? That's that's for me that uh, I can't see. Them. Oh, you're that's covering it for him. Yeah, I got oh, it. Okay, thank you. 
So no, yes, so nobody needs me to do it. All right. Sorry, I didn't. No, I'm giving you a hard time. It's fine. All right. Uh, if screenshots are done, we'll go do eight fifteen. Yeah, uh, I I still need my screenshots, and I'm still working on that. Okay, that's fine. Everyone else can go, and we'll you'll catch up. Just have a quick look from CSA. CSA has no dispatches to send. I shall. All right, I got both of you. All right, so you guys exit camp and head along the road north towards the Jamestown Bridge. Uh, at the moment, you just passed out of the woods and uh, entered a clearing near the Overton Farm. You're not even a mile north of your camp still. Uh, to the south in the rear, you can see your balloon man rising in the air, um, slowly gaining altitude, and uh, you estimate you're probably about two miles from the bridge. The men are at a good pace and in high spirits this morning. And, uh, Marshall had a question um, about the road. Sure. Uh, I don't think it's relevant. We're already past it. We're already up around Overton. So we're well, well on the road to Jamestown. Let me ask then. We were able to march due north? Uh, yeah, overland. Yeah. It was it was a question of if we could leave camp and go overland or use the roads. Oh, That's you, all. You could have gone overland. Um, you took a road, though. You went southwest out of camp and then turned north, but this is where you're at at the moment. Okay, yeah. that's what I that's what I figured we were going to have to do. All right, but no matter, we are where we are. Right. We're good. We're past this. All right, you continue in the. I have road. I have no orders. Yep. Okay. Thank uh, you, Ross. Are you staying with Sims for now? Yeah, till we get to the bridge. Okay, got it. All right, General, or not the General? You're like, what would your rank be? Just a guy. Just a guy. They the balloon. Captain Dasar, you're captain of the balloon. Um. All right, so you are rising in the air, uh, not yet at full height. They're still elongating the rope out. Uh, but already you can see pretty good bit of the countryside, and you can see a federal column, column marching eastward to the west. Um, now you can, um, I don't know, you may have done it already. You So you can write in planning uh, ten words for this turn. Uh, is that... All right, um... Quick question, how far are the enemy column from us, from yeah, the camp? you will know. Uh, they're five miles west of here. All right, nice. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Uh, I'll send, yeah, thanks. All right. Wait, is Dubose not... Is Dubose going north? Who's going to Highbridge? Is it the other guy? That's their uh... brigade. Oh, no, it, it's Dubose, but Highbridge is what this? Yeah, that one's Highbridge. So the the turn. Oh, right. Yep. He's so turning. he he would have turned left here. Yep. yep. Thank you. I mean, it's accurate. Just go down the wrong road. So we could just say that hey, right? it, they just exactly. realized the mistake, and we, so they're. We want to give them a, a chance at least. Though they're already oh, out there. Oh, sure. Uh, then these guys <laughs> can get as far as here. Okay. All right. No, well, uh, Lancer, what are they doing? Oh, they're keeping going down the road. I was double checking the rules to see how far they were moving. Yeah, so it's uh, uh, essentially. One, one second, because uh, Chenley said just follow. May go. Yeah, go check. Yeah, you can probably uh, move the uh, commander pieces. I can move the infantry. Uh, balloon message goes into planning, right? Uh, yeah. That's gonna come out. Next turn at nine fifteen. Well, it's instantaneous. So where did he? Oh, he's putting it in his. Um, the new message. Yeah. So you can. I guess if he he can write it there, but yeah, it can. It's instantaneous, oh. so it can go ahead and go. No, James. They're they're making a mistake. Oh they no. Clarified it and confirmed it. All right. We'll let them make their mistake then. Oh, so since he sent the message, I do stuff like that, right? Yep, that's perfect. Well done. All right, I'm doing perfect. screenshots. Easy stuff. All right, okay.
All right, I'm doing 8:30 screenshots already, and I've got I got Sims as long as uh, he's with Rosser. So actually, we didn't assign Sims, did we? So I guess I just have Sims. Yep. yep. All right, that's fine. The balloon man's uh, easy. Dear, just check. Your tunic has been assigned to some people. Did that? That's been taken into account, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, they're just following behind Second Brigade. All of them. Hell down. Are the union movements complete? No. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Okay, that's weird because I think some of the artillery got reassigned to some brigades, like third brigade and stuff. On the Confederate hey, uh, side, Sims bar artillery got reassigned, and so I put it. Oh, where the demand uh, damage markers go? You guys okay. made them fall. Um, so they got split in half, one for each one. So that's why I've got the damage markers, so that it shows that there's less guns. Um, yeah, so we're good. So these yeah, guns are for drop. Fitzgerald, and those are for DuBose. Oh, on the Union side, the artillery got divvied up from the CIC into oh. like all of the brigades as well. Got it. Yeah. Okay. And then I can safely ignore the very very bizarre scheme that the player is suggesting to me. Um, oh, oh uh, this this one's not even moved yet? Uh, no, it hasn't. I, I just... One of my players dropped, and I was having to explain to a player that, no, you can't use the horses from the horse artillery battery um, to scout. <laughs> I see. <laughs> they're not scouting horses, they're pulling horses. <laughs> Well, yes, but also the, the, the horse, you know, all of the people in the horse artillery battery do have horses, but they, they're needed to run the gun. That's the whole point. They have to gun. Yeah. Okay. And. Yeah. All right, that one. Okay, that, now it's good. Yes, yeah. Okay, and oh, then... We good? Yep, just taking my screenshots now. Okay, okay I'm going to go ahead and get my stuff. Alright. Oh, there we go. Alright, you continue down the road. It is now 8.30. You're passing by the Farley home and farm about to enter into some woods you judge you're about a little over a mile away from the bridge um you're made cognizant by the 53rd georgia that dubose is still marching in their rear um just so you know <coughs> um and you can see the balloon to the south rising ever higher you see a message from them uh, the, your signal man interprets the Morse code by flag and, and reads that out to you. And, uh, yeah, that's it. He says enemy column sighted, but, uh, I did, uh, give him flags where he could indicate type and number of enemy regiments. Yeah. I'll, 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 I'll remind be able him. To do that? I'll remind him. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate that. Cause, uh, DuBose was complaining. I saw the message fly by. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I assume you two are just so, continuing yeah, down the road. Yeah, we got to get to, uh, you know, uh, quick time or whatever it is to uh, get to the uh, the bridge as soon as we can. A lot of work to do today. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we, uh, to be clear, I'm not, we're not running. I'm not running. We're just, we're mar making a normal march, but we're not lollygagging. Okay, got it. You're, uh, Commanding General wishes to remind you that you also have ways to signal a number of troops and or units and type, I guess. Um, he's wanting more details. <laughs> you there? Oops. You there? Can you hear me? Hello? Hey. Okay, nice, nice. Now nice. it works. Um, I heard everything you said. Okay. Members. Yep. You rise higher in your balloon. Uh, can see more of the field, including more of the Union Army on the march, and uh, you can write your message in your channel, and it will be sent out. 
Any questions? No, thank you. Um, I got an order for some them to send a word back to have privates go down the handcart on the railroad. How is that? Uh, how do you want me to process that we one? We will do that like this. Um, so they're going to, we'll just move them at a mile a turn. And we'll just have them go down the, if you'll remember, just move them like a mile a turn down the road. And then once they get there, they can scout and then come back, I guess. Okay. Um, <coughs> yeah, my only issue with that is I don't think I can move that block. Oh. Uh, this? Yeah, it's it's just a white block me, to me. I'll find something. I mean, it doesn't matter. It's just something to remind yourself. Let me... Yeah, yeah, it's fine. So, yeah, you can get like a blue pond or something. Does that work? That works too. Yeah, I can move that. Okay, okay excellent. So, when it, he he's sending a dispatch to eleventh, that's he made the artillery, right? To the eleventh. Yeah, he says New York. I'm, I'm not I'm like I'm confused. It's like he sends the message to eleventh, uh, which is like. The only 11th I see is these, this guy, this, go, this guy, yeah. Go ask him. Oh, do you mean 111th? There's 111th. Because that's think... another man over here. Yeah, I'm just going to go ask him then. Go ask. All right, are Union all moved? Um, yes, they are all moved now. Okay. Marching uh, is just a mile, right? At oops. 10 distance? Oh, yeah, marching is 10. Yeah, a mile is 10, and... It's, I just want to max is ten. If there are <clears throat> that I wasn't moving them too slow or something. Uh, yeah, I'd say move them a little bit faster, but it's that's just me. Okay. Yeah, I'll do that from now on. I just figured their current pace was a bit low. No, I, I get that. I absolutely understand that. Uh, no, I'm just going to put it there and uh, all around. Yep, okay. Let's see. So next, that's oh. four to there. Six, if they choose that turnpike. Then. Oh, eight, 45. Uh, that? Hear the sounds of madmen counting numbers and turns. <laughs> <laughs> Virtual. <laughs> How do you do that cool thing where it's that box around your text message? Uh, that is a um, you do uh, oh god, it's like the arrow button, but it's not it's like the arrow head. That's a, the period button. Is you shift period um, space. You should if you oh, on Discord if you highlight a message. The quote box, it, you, you should have seen the quotation marks. I think that does it. Okay. Yeah, I just did it for the. I think that's stuff. All right. So, uh, yeah. oh, okay. All right. We're going with this. All right. Okay. And then. Right. Oh, and 45. Yeah, and okay. All right. We're on day 45. Day 45. Let's go. Yeah. All right, the bridge and, and Jamestown and are coming into view now, just north of you. Yeah, have we been successful in collecting some uh, axes and shovels? Correct. Okay, so we need to get uh, on high points here to figure out uh, where we're going to put our field works. Okay. 
on the east side of the river or west side? Well, I think the headquarters can uh, split up long enough to reconnoiter. We'll each look for a separate high point. Um, yeah, I think, well, uh, the shortest part of the line is going to be north of the bridge, so uh, let me go over there to start with. Uh, take me out about as far as I can see now, and I'll take a look and at the terrain there. So you're crossing the and, bridge, uh, to clarify? Or yeah, I'm going to cross the bridge and go look at that side. Uh, Marshall, why don't you start, uh, what does that say, Ferret or Farron? There's another farm or something there. And there's, I think there's, there's a little, there's a little creek. Um, yeah, yeah. There's that little creek, and I think that little creek would be excellent for defensive terrain. Yeah, because it looks like we've got a hill right behind it, and uh, so yeah, I would start there and start your men working uh, counterclockwise. Okay. And, uh, at some point, uh, well, you know, just kind of size it up as you go. Don't uh, make the make it so that the line ends up too long. You know, about 10 yeah. regiments worth, I think, should do. And okay. we'll try and put up to the second level right. if we have I need, time. I need Sims orders. What are your orders, Sims? Uh, begin digging uh, behind the creek, nor just north of that creek, so, uh, starting at the water's edge. So cross the bridge and then move to the creek? No. I am on the east side of the creek. Okay. So where the word Jamestown appears, yep. that's going to be my defense, where I'm going to start digging from the creek all the way to the east uh, as far as I can reasonably go. Uh, so maybe to out to the T or the O for now. Oh, I see. Wait a minute. I, 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 thought you would okay. start, I thought you would start at the creek to the west of the bridge. It's west uh, want, of where... West of where our headquarters are standing now. Okay, so if you want me on the west side, then I'm on the Woodham or whatever side or whatever that is. So that's yeah. fine. I, I, can, I can move over. Okay, well, that's going to be the closest point to where the enemy will be, and that's where I would like the <laughs> field work started first. Okay. Just in case uh, we run out of time. I'm going to post a screenshot for the field works here, and uh, I'll I'll have it ready in about one minute. Okay, I'll go with that. Thank you. Okay. All right, General Desar. Uh, I mean, you can see what you see from the screenshot. Union continues to move east, and uh, I don't know if anyone's responded to you. I guess they'd put it in your channel if they had. Um, yeah. So, okay. Any questions? Um, think about what's the one mark on the uh, on top of the enemy regiment? Uh, that's a small. With your spyglass, you can see it's a small handcart crew moving down the rail line. It's just two men pumping a little handcart. Are they civilians? And if they are, can I kill them? You oh. can, you you can't kill anything. You're up in a balloon, but you're. Um, All right, I can't. Um, you can't tell from here if they're civilians or not. I see. They're right. just tiny little, tiny little marks in the distance, <laughs> moving down the road. Um, also, the head of the enemy column, what are they doing? What are they doing? Um, the head of the enemy column, I see three uh, different dots. Yeah, that's just all the generals up there at the head. I see, alright. And how far away are they from the, from, from, from me exactly? The head is now four miles away to your west. I see, thank you. Got it. Thanks. Okay, so here's what you do: you take the horse, you put it in the cart, and you have the men push it on the rail cart. You give them that. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> okay. Who's, who's, in, who's in charge of Mad Hill? The uh, third floor uh, union. I tell you, man, that's not how you get horsepower. <laughs> <laughs> who's in charge? That's me. Oh, Sean. okay. So when he sends a dispatch to his artillery, like he just did, did did you read it? Uh, yeah. He yeah. I, uh, he, I believe, 
I told him not to do that again and just to tell me yeah. verbally. Um, okay, good. Yeah, I was like, I'm just a little bit. I was like, oh no, how does how does this work? I've never done this before. He's talking to NPC. <laughs> he's he's trying to communicate with it. He he's used to the command staff with, style, uh, which is fine. Yeah, D- don't worry. That's uh, that's me in the Spain game. Whoever's I, doing Maddles, oh, Sean, make sure your screenshots are oriented north up. You're mostly there, but they're slightly askew. Okay. Brother in Christ, <laughs> this is <it> Scourge of War. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Are we all done with the movement? Oh, uh, we did have one question. Uh, I can't remember who asked it, but the high oh, bridge, yeah. is it uh, broken out like right here? The bridge? Back, you mean? It's right here. Uh, yeah, yeah. But there's a section here that's not really connected. Oh, it's connected. I don't know what that is. All right. Yeah, I don't know. That might be indicating some pillars because I know it's I've really played high. on this map yeah. before. Yeah, and this is deceptively high. <laughs> I got fucked by that. Yeah, and it was really like is. that's the reason it's called the high bridge. Was like, you ordered your troops to shack up a hundred foot hill, and I had like had no idea it was a hundred foot hill. <laughs> Grants weren't around before; they were absolutely then. Anyway, oh, we're oh, we're already going on nine o'clock. Uh, are, are we continuing uh, to uh, 0900? Yep. All right. Okay. Uh, did Matt Hill get his own 0900? Uh, I'm working on it. You got it. I'm going to wait for you to just dispatch your help. You able to keep up with the dispatches part? Okay. I think I am. All right. All right. Uh, 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 screenshots are sent, Lancer. Let's go. All right. It's always uh, nice to have so someone manage the dispatches. I'm just really good at that. Teams. That's dispatch. Dispatch. One hundred. It's filled. Also, I said this one right. I did. Okay, and then the balloon man's not uh, giving very good messages. He just told him they're merged four miles heading west, but they're our west heading east. But they're going to be confused. That's right. He took me out of sight of the bridge. All right, I'm going to go get my stuff. All right, General Sims. So, uh, yes. you, Rosser has ridden ahead to reconnoiter personally. Um, you stayed with your men as they crossed the bridge and are uh, now starting to be on the west side of the, the river, which is the Appomattox, I think, actually. Um, I assume your orders are to start um, digging in. Yes, and, begin and entrenchments. Show. Yep, and, and I drew uh, a line to show you uh, that's going to be the first line, okay. and then I'll probably do a couple other lines if time permits. But for right now, this is the initial uh, defense. You got it. And there are engineers working on the opposite riverbank, correct? Uh, what do you mean by that? Do we have friendlies on the opposite riverbank working to dig? Or not? Uh, if you command your men to. So. Yep. Okay. I want one regiment on the opposite river bank. I'll submit an order for that as well. Okay. So they're digging facing east or south? Or... Uh, it's going to be a circle. Okay. Uh, just draw it for me. So. Yeah, I'm going <coughs> to do so. Thank you. Uh huh. All right, General Rosser, you ride ahead um, to reconnoiter personally. Uh, Sim stays behind with his men as they cross the bridge and start to deploy to uh, 
get start work on the field works. Uh, you can see well, you can see the terrain, some orchards, farmland, scattered forests. What are your orders? So you, well, you moved me a little farther than I thought you would because oh. I can't see the bridge anymore. Sorry. You want to go back to the bridge? Well, I mean, I would have stopped while I could still see it unless, uh, you know, the trees got in the way or something. Okay. Because I'm just looking for the best place to set up the field works, and I don't want to go, uh, oh, let's say more than uh, more than half a mile away from the bridge. Okay. So your orders are to go back to the bridge? <sighs> Well, I'm not sure what part of the countryside I'm looking at. Well, you're just northwest of the bridge right now. All right, but I can't see the bridge. I know it. <laughs> it's right back there behind you, behind the trees. Well, don't do that <laughs> to me again. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I should have been more specific, but, uh, you know, I figured I would stop writing when I wanted to stop writing, but uh, your, your never horse, mind. Your horse took forever to slow down. The brakes aren't working. Look at that! Look out! Okay. All right, General Desar, or not General Captain Desar. Uh, you see what you see? Any questions? If you're talking, I can't hear you. By the way, in sorry, your, sorry, sorry. No worries. Sorry. In your thing, you wrote. Um, yeah, I made a they're, mistake. <laughs> they're going westward, but they're going eastward towards your west. Yeah, I made a mistake. Yeah. <laughs> um, but the enemy, the enemy um, along the river line, who are they? Are they cavalry? Um, along the river line? No, you don't see um, you don't see any cavalry amongst the enemy. All infantry and artillery. I see. They don't, I see. They don't, right. they, don't, they don't seem to have cavalry at all. I see. All right. Thank you. Yep. That's a very nice version of coming to a halt. There you go. This is a this special goes specifically to Wasser, so only Wasser is looking at this. Well, no, it's still going to planning because that's the rule, unfortunately. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm just gonna it's cut off all this. Though. Let's see. Okay. And then I cut this off, I put this in planning. And then I put this down here. And then it goes balloon. Uh, James, quick question. How do they throw up the uh, breastwork so quickly? I'm... It's not completed. This is like just showing that they've started. Uh, okay. I understand now. Yeah. Two okay. fists from loss. I think it... I told him. Oh, 115. Good shit. Then okay. I will grab that marker and we can also use them for the. Moving on to 915. 915. 915. That is the CS. Use them for the Union. Move for here. James, how far away can I talk about? The dreaded dust clouds. Yes, that's a good question. <laughs> um, They're at two miles. For yeah, go ahead and let them. Hypothetical. Yeah, that's that's close enough. Okay, so whoever's uh -huh. got the head of the Union column, I'm gonna tell the Confederates they see dust. The Confederate, the Unions would definitely see dust too, because everybody's trampling around. Yeah. All right. Okay. I'll let them know. One, two, three, four. Sorry, you did the right, so, for his band. So as long as he keeps it under 10, uh, I basically can just send a message instantly. So yeah. Yeah. That's great. Perfect. I'm I'm so good at this balloon thing. <laughs> they're not, so far I haven't seen it. I mean, they've got it, but they're not using it very well from what I can tell, but it's kind of hard to tell. All right, Lancer, uh, d um, screenshot sent. Okay. I'll pop on also, there. Yeah. Also, by the, did James just pop out? I'm here. Okay. Um, 
Uh, the 4th Brigade player uh, Union is muted and deafened uh, and isn't responding when I ping him, so... Who is it? Um, uh, it's Ramsey. Oh, the guy that came late. Um, well, if he if he's not responding, just alert him in his channel yeah. and then let the CIC know that he's inactive and to start giving orders for him. <laughs> okay. okay, now this signal man is telling me that was a dispatch. Um, what do I tell him? Do I tell him like you can't just jump off the balloon to send you a dispatch? Okay, he is typing now, so I will give the 0915 screenshot and then. Okay. All right. A train is low. General Rosser has returned uh, after his brief reconnoitering mission that he didn't want to do. Uh, and, then, of course, you know you're together. Um, work has begun, just barely, barely, barely begun. Um, the men have broken out shovels and axes and are starting to clear the way and throw up some breastworks all around. Um, yeah. All right. I, I'm going to give you another screenshot, and I would like... Uh, you're going to see a green line. I just want pickets out there. And then on the orange line, I want a smaller team to start working inside there. So, and they don't even have to uh, get very far. The main line of resistance will be in the red. The orange will be the second line. And right now, though, the priority is to complete that red uh, line of entrenchments. Okay. So just in that, that green, it's really just pickets on early warning. Tell them to use cover, dig rifle pits if they choose. You know, the idea is to give us warning, slow down the enemy. They can come in at first sign of resistance to the red line. Okay. Rosser, you staying here or going back south? I need to keep talking to uh, Sims for a few minutes. Okay. Got it. All right. Uh, any questions, Desar? Uh, um, uh, no, but I can't see the enemies heading uh, deep south, right? Far south. Yeah, you can see the column that's closest to you. They're heading southeast. Um, south or east, southeast. Um, they're now about three miles away from you. I see. Oh, thank if you, you want to see Fitzgerald and Dubose are together, you can let them know that they are less than two miles southwest of their position. All right. Okay. He's Player still not. Keeps, keeps saying to send scouting parties towards Georgetown. Where is that? <laughs> Georgetown? Georgetown? Georgetown. Well, who's asking for it? It's Union 4th. Uh, uh, no, 3rd. Union 3rd. Where's, where's Union 3rd? Oh, Union 3rd. Okay. We're still on Farmville. It's got to be somewhere north. Then, yeah. Right? Yeah, somewhere oh, north. Georgetown. Um, well, so they're not working on our map, so Georgetown's probably way far north and not even mm, on this Okay. Map. So, yeah, they're, they're just looking the wrong direction. Yeah, so tell them, I mean, they can send people that way, and we don't need to do anything with it. Nothing's going to happen there, so just... Yeah. Yeah, so I, I can tell them you, they don't see anything every turn. Yeah. Okay. Just tell them Georgetown's yeah. really far away. Oh, All right, so we're at 9.30. Okay. And then, yeah... Thirty. 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 Sorry, to call it fixed trouble. I'm done. Sorry. Can I send this? Too fast. Nine hundred hours to the bows. This is nine fifteen. Yep, this one. Why is he paying he paying the bows by accident? That's why that's why I didn't see it. Oh that's close.
answer a uh, um, screenshot since we can go. Oh, okay. I'll go down. Yep. Nine thirty. It is now nine thirty. Thanks. Isn't that too fast? Uh oh. What happened? The message just disappeared. Yeah, that's weird. We're good to uh -oh. go do 9.30 or what? Yep, we're good to go. Alright. Um, the skirmishers pickets have been sent out as directed and are on their way. Uh, men continue their work setting up the breastworks. Okay, there'll be an interior line you see in my orange. Yeah. Uh, I'll uh, put another screenshot. Uh, let's see here. Let's do this. Making a fortress here. And then we're gonna stake out some. Yeah, we're gonna stake out some positions for the guns on either side of the bridge on either bank. Okay. Uh, and then ideally, those guns should be able to pivot and fire whatever direction they're needed. So. All right. Like and they can usually. shoot across the bank and support. So there we go. Okay. Rosser, you staying here or are you going? I am, uh, you know, we've uh, discussed the thing and Sims has it under control. I'm going back to the balloon. Back to the balloon. All right. Balloon's in the air. Were you thinking to join it? <clears throat> no, I uh, just want to uh, review the outgoing dispatches uh, in case I want to add a note to them. Got it. Okay. You were headed that way. All right, Captain Desar, any questions? Um, quick question. Um, the head of the enemy column, how, ma how many miles are they away from uh, the camp? From your camp, they are from the balloon, yeah. uh, two and a half to three miles away. I see. Thanks. Yep. Uh, thanks. Yeah. Okay. And they're literally moving two inches. No, don't, don't, don't penalize them for force march. It, it's literally right here. So they, 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 their penalty is that they're they did not give uh, specific enough orders that they're not really getting engaged. Yeah. Are they forming up in line two miles away. <laughs> well, they they see the, the columns. Yeah, it's getting closer, and they're forming up. Oh, okay. There, it's yeah. The old strategy, Cotton. Let's see how it's worked. Let's see if it pays off. Oh, oh wow! This is beautiful. Um, they've somehow managed to traffic jam on themselves twice. <laughs> oh no! Oh my god! <laughs> how could this happen? Well, when two forces move at the same speed, um, in the same direction, they're bound to run into each other. And they're still out of view of each other, technically, that cab and the head of the... You know, yeah, the force is really blocking their view, and it's... Okay, did that cab move this turn? No. Uh, it moved... Oh, yeah, sorry, yes, it did. It moved, like, six, and then I figured those guys were moving up so they would stop. Their orders were to go find the Union and help them. Oh, okay, so they're waiting till they move into vision range? Uh, I stopped them before you moved. Um, they have four extra grids, so they're going to move until they can see them and no farther. Their command okay, yeah, I'd say they'd probably be right around here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'll put them at this crossroad thingy. thingy. How, how do messages to the balloon works? So if they're less than ten words, then the part can just deliver them immediately. That's really actually all they can do because they can't do anything else. All right. So there's, okay, so they can actually signal the balloon. Yeah, they they've got signalmen with them in a flag system to write less than ten words in a t in a turn. It's just all right. Uh. 
This is from Fitz. That's from Fitz. Uh, yeah, I'll say that. Okay. And then these guys should be in vision range of these guys. Yep. Um, I think the cab can come a hair closer. But... Uh, so they, I just, I like that they're at the crossroads. Yeah, it feels appropriate for be at crossroads. Like they're they're not trying to fight people. They're actually actively trying to not fight. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Yeah. How how bizarre. How unexpected. <laughs> Kriegs feel. <laughs> yeah, it's like we don't want to fight. We just want to sit and look at each other. <laughs> That's gonna cost somebody something. To all generals, damn! What a what a bunch of dispatches. What time is this? Uh, yes. Has he been moving around? In fact, is the balloon the balloon sending this message? This dispatch. By the way, is it just near? Did it get brighter can, on, on the map? I made it brighter. It's it's later in the day. Uh, okay, Nine. I see. This is oh, no, dispatch. James, you should have just gaslit him. <laughs> <laughs> You're going crazy. Oh, he's crazy. You you. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Alright, nine forty five. Everyone good? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Hello. Alright, General Rosser, hello. Uh you leave uh Jamestown and head back down the road. Uh no sounds of battle or anything yet. Um it's pretty quiet. Passing by the Farley home again. You suspect you'll be arriving outside camp here very very shortly. Well, I would like to reconnoiter on my way there. Uh, there's a uh, intersection just past the Overton place. Okay. And if I remember right, uh, if I go south from there, instead of staying on the road, the, I can stay to the east of a wood and cross a creek and get back to the camp, uh, go on by a straighter route. Sure. So I'll look for a good place to ford the creek on the way. Okay. And if it's like in a ravine or something, then I suppose I'll have to go back to the road. I don't know. Got it. All right, General Sims, the work of fortress building continues. Um, you've got men working on the inner works now, and they're still working on the outer works. Um, no sounds of battle or anything. Okay, yeah, just uh, keep working. That's all we can do. I ought to find a shovel myself and start digging. The men would be very inspired by that. I will do so. <coughs> okay. All right. All right, Captain Desar, any questions? Um... Um, no, thank you. Um, a quick question. Um, the... Uh, our friendly general, who is uh, who is close to the camp, who's commanding them, or who's the enemy? Or who's the friendly general uh, near near me? You can see Rosser uh, coming south towards the camp. I see, Max. Thank you. Yep. Alrighty. Okay. Yeah, I think it's just. I think the attacking forces are just gonna be Fifth New Hampshire, Twenty Sixth, uh, uh, Michigan. Yeah, I don't think anybody else is getting in there. Um. Uh. Oh, wait. Hold on. No, no, no. It's only moving. Uh. Uh. uh no. It's up. Oh, up to here. That. That's where they're moving. It's slow. Okay. Slower movement because it's over terrain. Yeah, cause rough. It's they're on the crest of a hill and it's over rough terrain, trying to stay in formation. Yeah, that ain't happening. And then their shooting range is two point five, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, so they're not in range. Yeah, so they just slow down for a force. Cavalry's doing their job perfectly. I mean, they could start firing it now. It's not going to be super effective. What are their orders? Uh, attack. <laughs> That's all they said. Yeah, you might have some men shooting. Oh, I didn't even add dice yet. 
Okay. That's, that's a bit of a toy doing nothing up here, huh? Oh, roll to six. Okay. So, what should I add to this uh, dice roll? Just a negative one because of the range? I already rolled. Oh, okay. But yeah, the negative one for range. Oh. Oh, cavalry's not moved yet. Yeah, ignore. <laughs> We were so excited to finally get into combat. We wanted something to happen. <laughs> Do what? something. Anything. This. What time is it? Uh, what? what? Um, All of your stores, at least. Then we can report something. 9.45. It's about to be 10. It is 10 now. Uh, did the balloon get a 10? Uh, mess. Uh, it did. Uh, well, I just uh, gave it because I'm ahead. No. Sorry. Balloon hasn't gotten 10 because I'm waiting for everyone to be done. All right. So, um, okay. Let's see. Uh, Okay, so they're retreating they back. See, they would see them retreat, but they won't see past the forest. Yeah, I think I think I can agree to that. There's a little town right here, so that might be what we want to make the edge of their vision. On what's going on? Oh, oh, you can you can show them the cav because the cav are just saying uh, I don't want to get shot. I, I told them that there was um, that the road it basically was a T intersection, and that. Uh, and that uh, his report, his staff officers told him that uh, First Brigade was blocking the road to the uh, road to the north. And he's like, I'll go south. Um, so. What? James. Uh, <laughs> this is 10. This is 10. So. This is 9.5. Fuck it. This is 9.5. What you do is put them on, like this section here, and then only show them the woods yeah. around them, and just keep it keep it as a woods picture. <laughs> it's, it's perfect forever perfect. until he turns around or something. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I was, I, I don't know, like the bigger map, but I was assuming that we could have him emerge here at some point. Yeah, that's fine. Like he. Just a little bit further down this way, and then yeah. maybe one turn of this, like this, then one turn of this, and then he's back up. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. All right, do ten o'clock if you've not done it yet. Okay. okay. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oops, wrong one. All right, General Rosser, you have uh, successfully gone off-road and passed over the small little creek bed and are now just outside camp. Yeah, I can see the camp. I was looking at the shot here. These uh, fuzzy little gray things, that's the smoke from the campfires, isn't it? Yep. Okay, well, I will go uh, wait underneath, uh, you know, Let's get across the word Jenkins from, because I, you know, whatever. I'll go to where the tether wagons are. I'm sure it's not a, directly overhead. Sure. Okay. But, uh, and I'm also sending a, a, a Morse flag signal up to the balloon. I just posted it uh, here a minute ago. Got it. Thank you. All right, General Sims. The men's spirits are buoyed up by the sight of their commanding general shoveling with the rest of them. Uh, Outstanding. Okay, um, I have orders for another line of uh, earthworks or breastworks or whatever to be prepared uh, with dots being the rifle pits. It's posted in my channel. Uh, it happens if uh, we can spare the labor to do it. Yep. So. Okay. Um... So the the first ones that you started off with to your northwest are almost completed, a rudimentary level of breastworks. So 
if you're happy with that, one or two of those regiments can move south and work on the the yellow line that you got there. Yes, I am. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Hi. Please include the time with your dispatches. All right, we'll a do so. Any questions to say? Um, quick question. Um, which brigades are Rossers? He doesn't command any directly. He, 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 he commands everything. I see. So where is? He? Does he not know where his brigades are? I don't know. Okay, um, also, um, I, I can't see enemy ID flags um, through the, the quarter of the picture. Oh, let's see. Um, so you would see flags of 1st and 2nd Brigade of 1st Division. Um, they're all 1st Division, and the core is... I can't remember if I said. I think I did say. Not that it really matters, but uh, second core. I see. All right. Thank you. Close to the turn. Okay. Bruce. Yeah, so Union CNC is about to get lost. <laughs> oh, no. Nah. Where's, gonna he, happen. where's he going? He's going with 4th Brigade off map. Oh, all right. They're going into the wood, the endless road of woods. They're going to go off map. Yeah, the I don't journey. want to get off the ride. The ride never ends. <laughs> <laughs> it's the thing. Well, they don't know. They never got the map, so they don't know where the map ends. So, <laughs> the map never ends. It's all map. <laughs> uh, time ten. Can I steal your breastwork tokens? Of course. Um, I know. Okay, I know that they're not even remotely done, but these guys are all starting. Yep. I told him it would take four turns or an hour to do like rudimentary, rudimentary level of breastwork. So you can you can put a dice next to it to count it, or just keep it in your head. I'm not too concerned. Uh, I'll put a dice down. Oh, yeah. You know what? Dice makes no sense. Okay. Yeah. What's the cavalry doing? Over oh, here. They are. Oh, sorry. They are scrimmaging and occupying houses and taking pot shots to whoever comes up the road. Okay, yeah, so then there's going to be a small firefight that break. Well, no, they just got here. I would say, uh... I think Confederates would get some pot shots let's, off. Let's you do just it. Got shoot too. It'll be fun. We need to shoot. speed things up. Uh, yeah. okay. Thank you for the detail. Oh, I was going to put that at four and count down. My brain. My, it, it'll break my brain. Oh, okay. Brain small. Number go up. Rumpires, our brains are supposed to be broken. <laughs> Literally, there's a hole where my brain is supposed to be. Uh, four and three. Disruption each. It's appropriate. Tazar, do you want to handle both Scott and Nugent, and then I'll just talk to uh, the CIC who just got lost in the woods? Oh, wait, no. Fourth Brigade's going up? Lost oh. Part of it is going up. <laughs> You ordered a counter march. Um, so they're roughly going to be back. Uh, um, and then this brigade, he ordered to continue to go south and east. So um, just put it there with one. So they'll emerge up here uh, in like a turn. They're going to get. So, okay. Ramsey just lost part of his command and. Probably won't see him for the rest of the game. Oh no! no. All this power of no. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, right. we are the umpires. We have all knowledge, but have no power of the situation. Well, to be fair, I feel like this Confederate line is going to get crushed, and then <laughs> the Confederates are just going to win because 
Union doesn't realize that they're up there. It's bleak. I don't. That line's. It's, it's just two Union brigades on two brigades. They're gonna hold. Digging in. Yeah, they're digging in in Farmville. What? What? Well, they don't know. They don't know what the Confederate objective is, so they don't know. Oh, speaking it. of that, um, <coughs> I should I should clarify there was something with the player. I forgot. Okay. Oh. Well, my right, yes. ten fifteen's done, so I'm going. All right. All right. Um, the fiftieth Georgia have moved across the bridge and down south. Uh, they're not started, but they will soon start working down there. The 10th Georgia just wrapping up to your northwest. Uh, and then the 53rd, 51st are also getting close to the east. All right, good. Thank you. Okay. You do... Do you? Hmm. Yep, you hear the echoing of some small arms fire far to the southwest. Echoing. Okay. Um, all right. As these other guys finish up, send as many as we can fit to work on those works to the south then. Because it looks like the enemy's going to come from that direction. Okay, got it. So I'm doing stuff while we're... No worries. Thank you. We're going to call it Fort Marshall. There you go. All right. All right, General Rosser, you move uh, down to the tether uh, wagons at the... Near, yeah. the, near the base of the balloon. Of course, the balloon's getting blown by the wind, so not quite directly above you. Um, but you're able to get the dispatches he's dropping fairly quickly. Um, you can hear small arms fire to the west, some distance away. Um, mm -hmm. And I think that's about it. Okay, well, it sounds like... Uh... The balloon guy is trying to run the army. Uh, what time do we have right now? I'm addressing a dispatch. You're 1015 at the moment. 1015, okay. Yeah, I just want to tell Sims. If you need to, you can pull balloon guy down and uh, talk to him directly or go up in the balloon yourself. It'll just be a turn that... Well, I did no send him a code message. I hope that got to him uh, You know, with, with our return flags from right. the ground. Uh, it looks him like... To, uh, send you some information and uh, start using his identification flags for the enemy troops. Yeah, yeah that was... He, uh, that was acknowledged to be delivered, yes. Okay. Well, we'll see what happens, and let me finish. Uh, i got to type this uh, message for, uh, uh, for Sims here. Okay. Yeah, just keep in mind, you can, I guess, go up in the balloon yourself if you want to. Yeah, well, we'll see if that becomes necessary. <laughs> All right. All right, General Desire, any questions on your what you can see? Um, yeah, quick question. The caravan that you talked about, the the one number one marker, it's still, is, is it filled with bombs? Like, what the hell is going on over there? Uh, it just looks like a hand cart from what you can tell. I... Okay. Uh, um, also, can I uh, can I improve my eyesight or go even higher to see uh, to to see the north of the battlefield? Uh, no, that's as far as you can see. I see. All right. Okay. Thanks. Yep. Uh, discreetly. We sent out the dispatch here. So, hey, yo, what's going on? I can't send this part. Hold on. Maybe I'll just cut it off. See what happens. So, uh, uh, James, uh, bad news for uh, no particular reason at all. We have lost a uh, fourth uh, Union Fourth Brigade player. Okay, he was the one that we we're having issues with anyway, right? Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, just yeah, let the CIC know and just treat him as an NPC. I, 
Oh yeah, uh, CMC's oh, aware. Aware. Okay. Yeah, the CMC is with him right now. Alright, that's good. This is weird. My message is... I can't send this message? What's going on? This website? Could be a Discord thing. It's going weird. Well, there we go. Somebody's going to uh, Who has Scott and Nugent? Uh, I have Nugent, uh, Lancer is Scott. Okay, the Confederate cavalry was very undignified. And they got on their horses and they ran away. You can tell them it was very unmanly. Ten fifteen to ten thirty. What ten thirty, right? We're about to be. The next is going to be ten thirteen. What did Scott and Nugent do? Does anybody know? Okay, CIC is staying put. Um, the first and second wanted to bring up their divisions, uh, kind of flanking. I'm not sure. And then they wanted to also just press the attack in general. Okay. All the stuff they were fighting were skirmishing cavalry who heroically ran away. Brave okay, well... Away. Okay. Yeah, so just, just erase all those lines. <laughs> they can go as far as they want to. The Confederates nope that up there. Uh, I think they still... Hmm. I think the first two regiments probably would hold up. Okay, alright, alright, I'm the one... I'm the one in charge of those. Yeah, you get to pick. You choose. <laughs> but they did want to press the attack there, so everybody kind of moved yeah. up. And this guy, especially, is still moving up the road. Oh, yeah, absolutely. He He's moving up. Probably... I put him up, up here. Oh, they got the rest of the Union moving east now. Interessante. And then I, the cart has finally uh, spotted the Confederates. Right. The Fitzgerald is 1030? Yeah, it's 1030. For Fitzgerald. Nobody... Okay, somebody turned the dice. Okay. Yeah, it, 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 the, the earth works of 11 o'clock. I don't know. I'll try to remember the die, but they'll be done at 11. Or they'll be half assed done at eleven. Alright. And uh is it there? Okay. Uh would uh infantry be able to see infantry? Oh uh, uh yeah. I'd yeah, say yeah, so. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah say okay. So. Oh there's two cavalry two infantry units there, I Oh yeah, absolutely. Two light squares for me. I'm just doing Go get your ten thirties. Okay. Hello. Hello, hello. Alright. Um fiftieth Georgia working on you must have gone to West Point and with for all your uh, design and field works and engineering. Um so they're working <laughs> on uh they're working on uh, your new design. Um the tenth Georgia are finished and are heading east to join them and help them. And the 53rd and 51st Georgia are just about wrapped up. Uh, of course, they can keep working and add to it to strengthen them if you want them to. That's pretty rudimentary level level base works, breastworks at the moment. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. okay, thank you. Yes, definitely. Got it. Thank you. Oh, were you saying something? Were you saying something? I just said thank you. Oh, okay. Hello? Hello, all right. Uh, no changes for you. In terms of... you do The small yeah. arms fire to the west has ceased, however. Okay. <clears throat> um, am I hearing any gunfire at all now? No. Okay. Well, you know, I figured I figured I'd be uh, in the dark by this point. That's why I tried to arrange things to take care of themselves. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm waiting on my. I, I'm going to have to send another uh, flag message up to that balloon because okay. he owes me a dispatch. <laughs> you don't want to pull him down and. No, I, I got to looking at his other one. Uh, where was that? It's in the planning channel. 
Right now, strike enemy from all sides, indicating a unit at the position 1015. But, uh, you know, that uh, you know, seems, seems appropriate enough. I, I didn't get a chance to read it before I complained last time, so. Anyway, yeah, I should uh, type him another message because uh, he should have sent me a dispatch by now, I should think. Got it. All right, any questions, Captain Desar? Um, no, <coughs> thank you. Okay. And then we won't have to deal with this headache anymore. Then when they get on this road over here, they'll still have half a turn of movement. So they'll probably get to there. Tazar, you got first brigade's orders as well on that one, right? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, I got them. I drew them out. Uh, what is this pawn here for? The one where? Uh, the pawn. Oh, I don't know. I didn't... Oh, scout. Oh, scout. All right. <laughs> that artillery is in range. You could start shooting on the Union, the Confederate artillery. Okay, and then these guys, uh, yeah, they're going to get to there. All right, yep. Yeah, they're just trying to stay out of uh, fire range. Yeah. Sure. Ooh, action. Reed's over here? It's Reed? Is this Reed? This is Reed. Uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, fourth left, so Reed is kind of an impromptu in charge of his battalion. Or his group. Uh, Union's trying to stay out of range over here. Uh, so Confederates didn't advance. Uh, they yeah. Could... Yeah, so I think they would try and stay out of combat. They failed. Yeah, yeah, they failed. Okay, that that's fair. <laughs> uh, and then James, uh, just so we could finally have the mass uh, and the mass of the uh, units moving off map. Um, uh, the CIC ordered them recalled, and I just put them here on the map, and I gave them one disruption for force marching. Okay, I'd say that's fair. Do you need those green arrows still? Uh, no, no, no. I was just racing them. Okay. I don't want the balloon man to see the arrows of intended movement. <laughs> still got one. And now we are wait 1045. Yep, yeah, 1045 yeah. screenshot. Let's make it happen. All right. Yeah, so those regimental Thanks. commanders deployed too far forward and came under Confederate fire. Yeah, I'll, I'll let them know. Let's see. And there, everyone will hear the artillery firing, no matter where they're at. You can describe it. Is this the token up here something that Confederate people would see? Yeah. Uh, uh yes. Handcart on the line. It's a handcart. <laughs> <laughs> hand oh, it's a handcart! Oh, that's amazing. Are there people in it? There's two guys. Yeah. yeah. Pumping. Yeah, it's a cow on a. 
cotton house. Jim. There you go. On the roof of a cotton house. <laughs> oh, roof of a cotton house, yes, thank you. All right, General, the work continues. Uh, there is a brief, short lull in the small arms fire to the southwest, and then that ended uh, with the thunderous sound of distant artillery, like, and, um, and additional small arms fire in the same direction and distance as before. Okay. Uh, I fail to see how that concerns me. My job is to dig a trench. So, I'm going to keep digging. Alright. Dig away. So. <laughs> Alright, General Rosser. You can hear artillery fire to your northwest, maybe two miles away, uh, and small arms mm -hmm. fire. <clears throat> Well, that's the kind of thing that's expected. I hope it's our artillery. <laughs> yep. Any orders? Um, nothing specific. I I think I need to write another dispatch to uh, Sims, but uh, you don't need to worry about that till I get it written. All right. What have I got? Uh, I got a dispatch that doesn't have a name on it for who sent it. Anyway, uh, I'm just complaining. Uh, my, my request is that you give the balloon guy plenty of time to write his outgoing messages because I want him to start issuing type and number of enemy units. Okay. Because we gave him extra flags to do that. Yeah. I'll remind him. All right. Captain Desar, your... CIC below you um, is requesting that you send type and number of units <coughs> in your information. I see. All right. All right. Okay. okay. Any he questions? does know I only can uh, send 10 words, but yeah. Yeah, okay. he knows that. Um, any uh, yeah. questions on what you see? You can. There's artillery fire going on now. You can see a fight starting to break out. I see. Um, the the enemy uh, enemy units. Um, the back of them, there is two units who have the color yellow and one that has the color red. What yeah, are they? Those are artillery. So the yellow ones are horse artillery, and the red ones, uh, foot artillery. I see. All right. Thanks. Yep. All right. Oh, I won the race to the umpire channel this time. Not a lot of combat so far. Hmm. Let's see, they could start shooting too. So, um, apparently, uh, this was, this was, uh, a practical joke, um, and they're not actually moving to reinforce the fighting. So, what was the practical joke? The guys from uh, the, the west. Uh, the, yeah, no this this column over here moving to uh, uh, moving to go over here. Um, that's apparently not happening. Oh really? Um, yeah. Okay. And yeah. I feel bad for whoever's over there. Maddle. Oh, and he's yeah, a new I'm, guy, too. I'm going to try to give him a little flavor by basically saying that um, his regimental commanders are not happy about this because they can hear fighting over there. Yeah. And they want to move to the sound of the guns. So. Go for it. Maddle to Reed. Reed is here. Maddle is all the way up. Oh no. Yeah, and they're moving further away, so that's probably This dispatch will actually take another turn before I Ooh. Okay. Okay. Don't you hate it when 
brigades split up and commanders are not going to be able to command any of them and it's <laughs> yeah breakdown of chain of command is going to be terrible it's happening yeah wait they're what are they doing uh, first brigade's falling back. Second brigade's trying to support them however they can, and it's not working out. Mm. All right. So, oh, they're falling back already. All right. Still gonna, yeah. Still gonna they really anything. don't want to be in combat. They're afraid. Is this knowledge? Is this knowledge being afraid? <laughs> no. Power is afraid. Who, who has the, uh, the, the ridiculous train cart? Oh, I think it's the CICs. Yeah, they're, they're up here, um, and they're now they're now okay. being probably okay. engaged by some sharpshooters on this tall ass bridge. Yeah, yeah no, well, they are. And now they are running. Away. They're speaking away. <laughs> they get away just fine. Uh, are all the <laughs> Union pieces moved? You would like to them if you want, but uh, I've moved uh, mine. Um. Yeah, I've moved mine. Okay. Yeah, I, I've moved. Guys, I moved second this, and third, first and second. This line of breastworks got completed at eleven. There are some down here that are not probably going to be completed in time. They're not done till eleven thirty. Oh, this this might be a flank attack if things work out that really well, like an entire flank attack if things work out well. Anyway, sorry. I think the balloon alerted about it, but I don't know if he worded it right. He wrote, enemy tri flank east nine units and south four units. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's yeah, trying. Right. He's so <laughs> trying. He's trying to go harder. <laughs> well, yeah. That won't say anything. If uh, only there was some kind of device that allowed for communication. 11 o'clock. Uh, 11 o'clock? Make it happen. All right, General Sims, the work continues. Um, you continue to hear artillery fire to the southwest. I don't know what else to tell you. Um, I want to hear shovels hitting the earth. Oh, you definitely hear that. Okay. All right, well, that's what I want to hear. So uh, keep digging, keep uh, reinforcing that southern flank there with the rifle pits and the trenches and that's all we can do. Okay. Thank you. You're in a uh, trench work simulator for this game. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Some games are like that, you know, yep. right. Uh, General Rosser, you yeah. continue to hear artillery fire to the Northwest in the same direction. Um, the small arms fire has lessened somewhat. Mm -hmm. I think you should go up in the balloon. <laughs> oh, really? Well, I don't know. It, it'd be hard to write long. You can still drop long messages. Well, it takes like two turns to pull it down and another two turns to get it up again, right? No, just a turn. It, so there'd be a turn. A turn that Desar wouldn't see anything, and then the next turn you'd be heading back up. I don't think. Uh, I I don't know why. Uh, why do you think I should go up in the balloon? Is he having trouble? I don't know. I you might give better direction. <clears throat> Can I speak to you for a second in the Empire Channel, James? Yeah, I'll be right back. What's up? Oh, where did you go? Hey. What's up? Um, I like this dispatch. It has a lot of energy. Uh, does uh, the commander of the 3rd Brigade hear the artillery? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Is that it? Okay. Uh, what are your orders? Just trying to... Uh keep up with the dispatches right now. I, I, is he having trouble uh, no, I mean, in you, the balloon? You can see what he's writing. I don't. I guess I'll leave it up to you. 
Well, I don't know. He doesn't seem to respond. If he needs time to write me a dispatch, I, I wish you would give him the time to do that before you make the next turn roll over. Well, I'm not going to slow down the game, but he can write. He's got time to write dispatches. Well, I hope so. I mean, I, maybe I have more trouble hunting and pecking than other people do. <laughs> but. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I, I went to a lot of trouble in the planning, so I I, I don't know. That's what I'm saying. You got to get in the balloon and make sure you can direct your army. Maybe I can <laughs> shinny up the rope or something. <laughs> <laughs> you want the balloon pulled I, down? Well, I mean, has he been posting regularly every turn here? He seems to be. But yeah, he is. Okay, well, yeah, he's still being useful. Uh, I don't know. Uh, do you, does he seem to be confusing our guys as much as he's confusing the enemy? What? The enemy can't see his flag signals or interpret them. Oh, okay. Well, they don't have their telegraph guys with them then. Yeah. So we at least have them over that barrel. Yeah. So, I don't know. Um, All right, well, I'm Can gonna... he drop? Can he drop a line and uh, pull up a message? Uh, yeah, I suppose so. Yeah, okay, I'll write him a dispatch uh, to, to to try and help him out here. Long one. Okay, that works. Thank you. General Desar, any question? or Captain Desar, any questions about your screenshot? Um... No, thank you. No. Okay. Got it. Uh... Hey, Park. I told um, Rosser that he could write a dispatch, a long dispatch, and they drop a line from the balloon and have it brought up. So he's going to write a long one that you can deliver to Desire. Instantly. <laughs> Uh, yeah, as soon as he writes it. Okay. Got it. Okay, so we're My good. guys were wondering if they should write a dispatch to the balloon to tell him that they're being flanked. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> would the, uh, uh, James, would this 81st Pennsylvania be able to help in this skirmishing action? Uh, not where they're at currently. Is that as Understood. far as they got? Yeah, it's as far as they got. Yeah, then... No, I don't take another yeah, turn. Yeah, that's fair. <clears throat> All right, it's 11.15. Send them out. Do All right, uh, I will... Okay. I'll drag uh, Scott into a different voice channel. Yeah, that's fair. Um, just need to get in a his screenshot first. Uh, ba -ba, I think I'll be here. I'm not gonna. Let, I'm not gonna let them see this. Let's see that. I mean, I think no. they have the high in there, so I would imagine they can see it. Oh uh, no! Scott... I, I, yeah, I, I don't know if uh, Scott can see the breastworks. I, I think you can tell them that they. I I don't know. I, I don't think mean, they can. I think he's in a mile, so and he's on top of the hill, so I think he would be able. He's, to all, see he's on top of the hill, but they're in the woods. Oh, that's a fair point. What do you think I should tell him? Just something's in the trees? Uh, no, you, you should tell him they see men digging. There's like the regiment back there, but they're also trying to build breastworks. Um, okay, yeah, so they say, might like, see some activity. Okay. See, like dirt flying yeah, out of the ground. Yeah, 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 yeah. Men digging. All right. Yep. Okay. Just let yeah, me know. Yeah, yeah, I'm just waiting on, uh, yeah, wait on me. I understand. Just, I'm being a little. No, you're good. Take your time. I'm slow on this. I'm just trying to make sure I get everything. Okay, and then these wow. guys are. Let's see, yeah, they're they're gonna deploy to attack. Okay, so these guys are fighting. Yeah, I'm just they gonna probably won't. They probably because... won't really be an actual attack between the like three tenths of a mile that they're coming up and then all right yeah i will uh, but yeah they they are fighting so uh, yeah uh, lance you can uh, uh go to scott now okay 
Um, Second Brigade's getting still under artillery fire. Let them know. Oops. Oh. Hello. All right. The uh, your fifty fifty first and fifty third Georgia report that they're done. Um, unless you want them to do even more, um, they could go down and help the 10th Georgia and 50th Georgia finish up to the south if you want them to. Yeah, let's have them help out. Okay. Do you Thank want you. to go anywhere yourself for some reconnoitering? No, I'm not going to leave my men. <laughs> I'm going to stay here and uh, inspire them into the south and Make sure they have water and other things as needed, and uh, as soon as they finish this, they can cool off in the creek for a few minutes and uh, right. rest. That will be much appreciated. Yeah, no, I want the men rested before any action, but we do have to finish the uh, entrenchments first. Hello? Hello. Um, sounds of battle to your west continue. They are getting a little bit closer. Still a good distance away, but you can tell they're drawing near. Um, yep. Any uh, orders? It, is the balloon tethered to a wagon? Yes. So, if we really had to, would we be able to haul it down and ride off with it while it's still inflated? <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess so. Okay, well, just wanted to make sure of that uh, as a last resort, because uh, if I have to, we'll head north uh, toward the, uh, the toward the bridge. Sure. Do you want, do you want uh, those that are defending I'm the camp, do you want them to break camp? Well, huh? Do you want the men to break camp? We've got people in the camp? Uh, just a few people defending, you know, the stores and the, the tents and whatnot. Oh, well, they should uh, port all that stuff north because our new position is at the bridge. Yep, okay. If we've got extra ammunition and stuff, uh, we, they should have been doing that the whole time. I didn't realize we had left anything in the camp. Oh, that's all right. Okay, thank you. Any questions, Captain Desar? Mm, no, no, thank you. Okay. Uh, Desar? Uh, yeah. The uh, units over there on the other side of the river from the counterattack, he's yeah. asking uh, Scott's transferring them to Nougat. Uh, yeah, Nougat just took command of them. Okay. And then over here, I need to draw out what he wants to do because I can't move them. That is fair. He wants to move those guys up there. Um, he wants to push these guys forward. Push these guys forward. Um... And then these guys right here, he wants them going this way. Okay. And these guys come up to kind of come up behind everybody. Uh, they're moving downhill. I'd say let's put them at here. And then this is moving. Uh, it's going to be rough. Very, very rough terrain. I'm just going to put that down there. Okay. This one we can so put. Normal rough terrain would be 1.25. Oh, oh, well, okay. And that, that be the case. <laughs> Was that cavalry standing there? Or they what are they doing? They've already moved back one one point two five. Okay. They they wanted to disengage, but I, that's as far as they could go, I think. Two of us. All right. Okay. So new new plan. Uh, the Union Third Brigade. They're going to now be moving their entire brigade north of the river. 
Ugh. Come on. <laughs> this I don't know if this thing this is just worse than um They're, they're guarding against European intervention, okay? <laughs> <laughs> In 1864, they're, yes. They're, they're going to move it north of the river, uh, and then oh. they're going to presumably uh, try to attack across this, which, uh, as I well know, only ever ends perfectly. Surely. <laughs> <Surely. laughs> of course it does, and don't call him Shirley. Okay. I hope I at least made the player feel like he made some decisions at some point. Yeah. Keep doing what you can. Nature. Yeah. 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 And then, yeah, these guys, yeah, they move up here. Well, I'll let them see it now. Oh, what time is it for you right now? 11 30. It's going to be 11 30. It's going to be close. Yeah. Yeah. Moving through it will the be Are all the union moved? Uh, yeah. Uh, should be. Oh. So, how was that? That was weird. Anyway, uh, I'm sending this to the SAR right away, right? Yeah. This is the message that Russell yeah. was supposed to send yeah, right away. You yeah. can deliver it right away. That's fine. Uh, has this combat over here been completed? All combat's done. Yep. All combat's done. Okay. Uh, oh, I guess I have to do um, Reed and uh, Scott's now. Just. Okay. Uh oh, that's not right. <gasps> what? Oh, because he only gets to hold two drafts. Okay, yeah, yeah. All right, General Sims, the men are indeed getting tired, but they are nearing the end of their work. Um, of course, they can always dig deeper and add more, but they're pretty much done with what you had originally envisioned. And that those okay. are, the waters of the Appomattox are looking pretty alluring at the moment. All right. Well, I think it's uh, we can have half the men go swimming for thirty minutes. And uh, well, do I still hear fire in the dis gunfire uh, yes, in the distance? Yes, you do. It's, if anything, it's increased um, a lot of gunfire to the southwest. All right. Half uh, half of the crew for half of the men for fifteen minutes. Another half for the other fifteen minutes, and then they've got to occupy positions, particularly here to the south. So, go swimming. <laughs> All right. Hello, General Rosser. The sounds of battle yeah. to your west continue to increase. Uh, you, you estimate it's probably about a mile, maybe two miles away. Hmm. <clears throat> Somehow, I don't think they, you know, in spite of saying that they understood it, I don't think they understood me. No. <laughs> Or maybe the ground is just different once you get out there. I don't know. I didn't anticipate how long it would take them to march from the camp along one road to get to where they were supposed to go. Mm -hmm. You can you well, go join them. Do you want to go see the fight yourself, or are you staying here? Yeah, you know. <laughs> Keep in mind, I was drafted. <laughs> <laughs> or, um, or you can go up the balloon still. Yeah, well, if I do anything, I'll go up in the balloon because it'll be quicker. All right. I finished the dispatch to the balloon, man. Hopefully that'll light a fire under him. Okay. Otherwise, I might shoot him down. Um, I don't know. He's saying... St uh, Colonel Fitzgerald is saying stuff about... Uh, the enemy are outflanking his uh, his line or something, and I'm like, you're not supposed to have a line. You're supposed to shoot at him and fall back, and then do it again. Yeah. Well, so I'm I'm trying to decide how to respond. Uh, I don't really have uh, any other orders. Okay, thank you, General Desire, Captain Desire. Any questions? 
Aye. Aye. Yeah. Um, uh, Rosser just told me to write him a dispatch, so can I write more than 10 words? Yeah, he's right below you, so you can drop, you know, tie it to a rock and drop it right below. Uh, Thank you. All right. You All right, thanks. Oh, I should have done. No, not that it matters. So Eleven. We All are, right. We are flying through this battle. We just haven't had much combat. Yeah. Glory, glory, what a hell of a way to die. Glory, glory, what a hell of a way to die. I got a lot of combat to roll now. Yeah. No, stop it, Discord. They don't... I don't want your pop-up. No. How do I make this go away? You can't. Right, so he's, forever. he's falling back. <laughs> They're going to advance, I assume. The hotkey is shift. Everybody can understand the uh, arrows I dropped for the Union guys, right? With Scott. Uh, oh, yeah, I can absolutely understand this. Can I ask a quick question, Lake? Oh, uh, yeah? I, I've been moving these guys at 1.25 if they're in line in woods. Um, uh, uh, well, they're okay. All right, I, I can... Uh, no, no, I, I'm fine with it. It, it. It's totally fine, but they would move farther because they're trying to get back into the entrenchments. So oh, yeah, absolutely. Saying... Yeah, give them to the entrenchments. Perfect, perfectly fine then. It wasn't a, you're doing it wrong, it's I want to do it the same. Yeah, no, no, yeah, I get them into the entrance. They're pulling back, yeah, let them... Is that cavalry, Confederate cavalry staying where they're at? No, no, they're pulling back behind their buddies in panic. <laughs> yeah, I figured. Oh, this is sweet. Hey. These guys were not advancing. The oh. second New York is staying there. We're at 12... I'd say they probably get to here before they realize, oh, this is a line. We can't advance any farther. Okay. Yeah, the fifth, the commander's there, so. The fifth New Hampshire are breaking. Uh, also, the artillery is firing onto probably the uh, counter battery fire position. Hold on, there just happened. There's... Okay. And then, are these guys able to move forward, or did they get stopped because of heavy fire? They can move forward if they want. They okay. They they were trying to get on the flank of these guys uh, who are here, but I can't move them. I did move them a little bit already. But... I just can't move them at all. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, these guys. They're out. Uh, they were over here, and they were moving to the flank. So they they just get here. They don't come oh. along this turn. Wait, what happened? So the far left Confederate lines at risk, the one, the Union right in front of the guns are breaking. Yeah, they're being torn to shreds, but yeah. And they're firing, firing canister shot now. Uh, oh, whoops, not that. Don't do that. Okay. No, stop it. Combat's done. Yeah, but the Confederates don't uh, really hold on. have... Uh, what, what about this artillery here? I already did him. Oh, you already did that. Okay. That's how fast I am. One cart. <laughs> um, I think I forgot to move them last turn. I think that's good enough. All right. All right, get your 11.45 screenshots. It's 11.45 to this number. Oh, no. It's a lot of words. And Scott. Yeah, you know this and then we're going to be walking right here because we're going to come back for a second. This here, this is a little bit of a Okay. 
For the Go sake of the game, table. will you guys double thirds movement? Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah so they've been funny. moved just once, so yeah, just move them again. Yeah, just to get them into action. Move them on the expressway. Yeah, we're on the express route now. That there's <laughs> uh, uh, a position at the uh, railroad. Uh, Take the toll road. This is for 12. 11.45. 11.45. No, no, it's just something about... Oh, okay. All right, General Sims, the 10th Georgia and 50th Georgia go to the bank and cool off. Um, a few minutes later, um, one of your regimental commanders reports that a man accidentally drowned. Thought he could swim and got in too deep, but um, other than that, the men are grateful. And uh, the 53rd Georgia and 51st are looking to get in as well. All right. Yep. 15 minutes for one half, 15 for the other half, and then everyone online, please. Thank you. Mm-hmm. You want to go swimming yourself? No, no, I'm I'm fine. Uh, I don't think the officers should be frolicking with the enlisted anyway. Um, and uh, if something starts, uh, I need to be present near the front. So right. I'll make do with a cool glass of water and uh, a wet rag to wipe my brow. There you go. All right, General Rosser, the uh, camp's being put away and ported up north. Um you, the sounds of battle to the west are continue to increase. Um, you can hear more and more artillery join in. Any orders? Yeah. Well, I'm still waiting on my dispatch from the balloon. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure how long I'll have to wait. I sent something at 11.30. What time is it now? It's 11.45. It's been 15 minutes. Well, if I don't get something on the noon, I'm really going to be pissed. <laughs> um, you should pull it out and get in the balloon. Well, you may be right. Because, uh, uh, you know, it's 15 minutes later. I don't know how long it takes him to write stuff, but it uh, he should have... If I sent him at 11.30, he should have replied at 11.45. I'm right underneath the damn balloon. Oh, uh, you know what? He did right. Um, it just hadn't been delivered yet, but I'll deliver it now. Oh, thank you. There you go. So, yeah, I'll, I'll have to look this over, so uh, that'll take me some time to digest. Okay, got it. So, no orders. Captain Desar, any questions on your screenshot? Um, sorry. Any, do, do you have yeah. any questions? Yeah, no, no, everything's obvious. Thanks. Okay. Uh, we got 69th New York, 88th New York, 16th Michigan. They are going into the jaws of death. All right. Um, okay. And Nugent's not there. He's trying to rally the men that broke. All right. Um, are they bayonet charging? Three batteries? I mean, they are Irish, so. <laughs> I don't know if it matters. The batteries are in French, too. Yeah. Um, oh, wait. Was that the wrong one? Or they can not be. It's entirely up to you. Um. The one with one counter on it. Okay, yeah. Ten. Okay, so please tell me they're back on time. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh... T- you guys are this- bringing and going for the charge as well. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, and then you guys are kind of bringing themselves up to be the third push into the charge. Alright, so... How is Michael sending his... His dispatchers now. They're covering for this. It's just going to be a cover fire, unfortunately. They're not really moving. I, I guess Turret has just a dispatcher that's swimming now. He's swimming? 
Yeah, because you know, if he sends a dispatch, he can't exactly go through here, right? Uh, Hold no, on. I, I um, mean, the one with the free on it. This one. Hold on. Where did that come from? Uh, they came right here. Uh oh. Okay, so they're from yeah, a different. Sixty third couldn't uh, really. Oh, that's fourth brigade. Oh, sorry. Whoops. So hear me out on the dispatch. This is just my pitch. Make it like a one in three chance that these uh, snipers get it. They were out there trying to kill Trolley Man. Maybe they shoot it. Dispatch right. And I'll give it to uh, Finleaf. Or not. You can just say it runs away. It's fine. I just think it's neat. Uh, this goes to all three people for 12. This is a bayonet charge over here, right here. Yeah, it's bayonet charge. Yeah, I got it. <clears throat> oh, and then the two the Union. Where, where is the Union artillery targeting? It's kind of... Uh, they were. I I would assume this yeah. is targeting um. Those guns. The, uh, the uh, artillery. <clears throat> okay. They did not take any damage from the attack. Is... Who? Uh, the Confederate artillery up here. Yeah, they did. Oh, they're getting disrupted. Not for okay. me. And then, yeah, so they will be just outside of Overton. That combat's all done. Yeah, there's the other battery in there, wasn't there? there so there's, there's the one that had been split up between the two brigades. They were both there, so I just put them oh, back okay. together I, I and took it. away Perfect. the okay. wound markers. Just so I don't get accused. Yep. Yeah. Uh, question about the bro Nugent trying to rally the broken. Um, Ant, did he I'm just assuming? get to them? No, he was. He immediately got to them. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, he can rally him. All right. Need to set a wound marker. Twelve. So. This? Um. Was <clears throat> the Confederates make the deliberate decision to not entrench at the top of the hill? Sort of at the top of a hill. Well, they're uh, no, that's like no, they're no, like oh, oh, on that side. I thought you put yeah. the main line. Yeah, they no, that. Yeah, so on no. that on that side, they're blocking the bridge. They don't want anyone to come across the bridge. No. Okay, but the okay, the the problem with this position is that uh, yeah, the it's... Union can put artillery up here and fire down. Yeah, it's okay. it's just as good to defend up here at the top of the like hundred foot oh, hill. Don't tell um, me that. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> it. Okay, it's, I just it's their to fault make for sure. making idiot, stupid decisions. Yeah, I, I just wanted to make sure that that wasn't just that was placed there because it looked pretty to have all the units. No, I think um, there are uh, uh, recipients of what we're calling. Uh, I think this new thing going around called I think the Darwin Award or something like that. <laughs> I don't, I don't think that, that's even close to the Darwin Award this game. Like, they're, they're entrenched. Like, yeah, sure. It, it'd be better at the top of the hill, but, like, it's not. And they're going to stop anybody from getting over that bridge. Actually fort, they're going to have to fight so, them in column. They actually put redoubts and forts up on that hill. Historically, you can see them still there. Yeah. <clears throat> so, yeah, the, the problem is that um, so he the his Union right is probably not going right to here. just directly attack across the bridge, they're probably going to put up some musketry, and then and with shoot artillery. Into the trench. Good, good right. question. What we'll is get this? To it when we get there. Uh, that yeah. is that is a confederate... Those are like some Scott. confederate structures. Right, 12. Go get your 12 updates. Alright, General Sims, the uh, 53rd, 51st are cooling off. Your Georgia boys are hooping and a-hollering and playing in the river. Um, 50th and 10th are cool are uh, drying off and grabbing their equipment again. The sounds of battle to the southwest continue unabated. Um, that's it. All right, thank you. I I have no further orders. Got it. At this time, I will on the next uh, turn, but not right now. General Rosser, um, not too many changes. Yeah. Any uh, 
Any orders from you? Well, it's noon here, right? Yep. And I'm not seeing much going on. And uh, hang on, I got another dispatch here. Four enemy. Inf oh, okay, finally. All right. Um. So yeah, I'm going to send uh, half of uh, Sims Brigade to uh, reinforce. I just don't know where the hell they should go. <laughs> All right. Um, I had a dispatch rider just come in from DuBose, right? I don't know. I'm not looking at your channel. Well, I just got a dispatch from DuBose. All right, sure. And I want to hold on to the rider because he knows the way back to where DuBose was. Um, yep, yeah, DuBose is uh, about a mile yeah. southeast of the high bridge on that main road uh, well alrighty uh, so yeah I will have uh, I will write a dispatch this rider will take it to Sims and then lead uh, two of their regiments to DuBose okay got it uh, but I guess I have to write all that down don't I you do so let me get started on that okay any questions Captain Desar? Um, sorry, yeah, the enemy um, across the river, which bridge are they attacking? What, what is it called? They're going towards the high bridge. All right. Yep, you got it. Um, what, what's the other bridge that is more fortified? The, that's the Jamestown Bridge. All right, thanks. Yep. Having fun up in your balloon? <laughs> A different Kriegspiel experience. Indeed, indeed it is. All right. Mm -hmm. so, uh, it's going to be twelve fifteen. This is one of the most fastest we've gotten through a battle. Uh, what would you say here, James? Charge? Sorry, I'm not looking there. Give me one second. Oh, yeah. Where at? Uh, it's the uh, Union 2nd Brigade. What would you say? Oh, yeah, they're already way up there. Are they? They had orders to charge, right? Uh, well, they they got up to here, but they have not charged yet. So, yeah, okay, it's going to be a charge. I'll just plop them on. Plop them in there. Hold on. I'll roll for all that. Hold on. Charge or not to charge? That is that not is the question. question. Because you just charge. That is not a. That is not a. That is not a question to Sean Mack. Not Sean Mack. Mm -hmm. Um, Sa Sam Miller. No, Sims, no this is twelve. Maybe twelve fifteen. Okay. Uh, Nugent's also uh trying to support this how he can, so he might get killed or shot. Okay. Six. Ooh. Lancer, is the entirety of that brigade just moving in for the attack? Uh, the 116th PA, the 28th Massachusetts, and the 140th uh, Pennsylvania. Yeah, they're charging. Okay, they're going in for the charge. Oh, okay. They're just, they are all going in there. Uh, did they not Oh, fight? oh no. Oh. They're charging obliquely into... Oblique? Oh, no. Nah. Yeah, no, they're, they're charging... They're being enfiladed by canister fire. Yeah. That's not pretty. That's why they broke so quick. Uh, yeah. this, uh, the first oh, New Hampshire was being brought up to uh, fire at the Confederate artillery. This is hell right now. And fucking last years of the wars. Yeah, I'm going to survive this war. Get shot by canister. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just taking a screenshot of this just because, oh my god. Christ. I, 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 I'm not sure if there's like a more textbook sort of like 
defense against a charge that you could set up. Uh, like he he specifically ordered, "Hey, I'd like those guns to turn to the left and shoot them because they charged him last turn." He figured they would do it again. I was impressed. Yeah, that yeah. is a fair assessment. I can't really see the piece here. Is this blocked by this guy? Uh. I don't. They were. Um, they were expecting this piece to break. So, I don't know if that's been rolled for yet. Um, but probably. I'm, I okay. think I'm done. Okay. I so don't then know. That's probably well, not they, firing. Uh, which which I, piece? I what are you talking about? Uh, this artillery here. Oh yeah, yeah. Left, it hadn't quite broken. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, if they can see between the units. Uh, no, that's very complex terrain. Um, okay. I would say I no. I can't see where the edges of these units right here are. Yeah, so. it's yeah. Okay. Yeah, they can't done. fire through that. That's no. Uh, I oof. Twelve thirty. All right. No, twelve fifteen. What time no. is it? Twelve fifteen. No, okay. Where did that pawn go? I just had him run back to Phillips Legion. It was five dudes, like, standing around, smoking a pipe. Oh, okay, so it was only five? Okay, so it's not really a movement complication. Not at all. They, they were out there to assassinate a, a train trolley man. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm missing something about this train oh. trolley man. Uh, He's oh, us, we're um, the umpire. We're him. Uh, these guns would start opening fire. Um, um, what's that? Oh, huh. I don't know what that piece is doing there, but all right, get your twelve fifteens. Oh boy! All right, General Sims, I think. Why did you get this dispatch that was supposed to go to Rosser? That's weird. Um, yeah, your men are back out of the water, manning the lines, getting their equipment. Sounds of battle continue to the southwest. All right, I have orders to send two regiments to reinforce Dubose. Okay. Uh, let's see the here. The courier knows where he is. Yeah, okay, so uh, the two regiments that are grabbing their equipment, and they're not online, send those. Okay. Got it, thank you. General Rosser, the sounds of battle continue and they are getting closer maybe less than a mile away now of where you mm. are um right well i'm seeing the camp is getting smaller and smaller i like that <laughs> yep so i'm thinking uh let's see it takes uh one turn to pull the balloon down yep well yeah given how much uh I've been pleased with his work. Uh, maybe we'll start doing that. We'll start winching him down, and I'll follow the rest of the camp north to the uh, Jamestown Bridge. And I'll have a chance to co-locate and talk with Desar for a while, see what he thinks. Wait, you're moving the balloon up north? Well, I mean, I can haul it down and then move the wagon, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm just clarifying. Yeah. Okay. Got it. That's the plan. <laughs> Captain Desar, any questions? No. No more uh, no more questions, thanks. Okay. Time for some more combat rolls. Hmm. Uh, question, did you uh, assist uh, add the uh, artillery into this? 
Into what? Uh, are you near artillery firing into... I did. Uh, yep. Okay, just making sure. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, Nugent's trying to make lightning strike twice and rally up the 88th. Okay. I do not know what that means. That sounds pretty cool. 88th New York, I mean. It's like it, they basically broke right in front of him. He's trying to rally them. Hey, that attack didn't go off in the center here. Right here? It he did. called that off. Mm. Oh, he called it off? Too late. Yeah. You can't call it off mid-attack. Mm -hmm. All right. I th if it's, I think the 100, 116th would be able to at least... Yeah, you can ha have them fall back. But... Yeah. These guys, the... Uh... First New Hampshire are concentrating on the artillery right now. He did rally this and tried to bring him back. So I'll I'll, I'll give him that at least. They're, they can be rallied, but they're not they're not turning back. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't think the union's going to break through. Oh, I got to roll for those two artillery. All right. Is that cavalry going to be shooting? Right. So. Okay. Yeah. So. Hey, James. Yep. I don't have combat dice, but I think these guys should break. They're trying to do overly complicated running away shaped things at four disruption. Who's that? Shot. The 18th? Uh, 18th Mississippi. Yep. Yeah. yeah the, well, these guys broke right next to him, so yeah, that, yeah. they should break yeah. anyway. Yeah. Okay, cool. I don't. I don't know if I'd give them a casualty, but they'd be like, uh, no, I'm not going to do that, sir. Yeah, they were... This is too the overly complex running away adjacent things. <laughs> At four destruction. <laughs> right. Okay. Get destroyed. Get destroyed. So we're at 12. When are we? Uh, are we thinking about calling this? Yeah, let's do one, uh, let's do one more turn. Yeah, I, I feel like there's a pretty consequential maybe, maybe two assault more that's yeah. about to happen over here. This, this river is not affordable, right? Uh, nope, no, only crossable at the bridges. Why are they so important? Well, yeah, uh, okay. they, yeah, they're not going to get through that. Well, they're. Oh, well, they're so being, Mando can't actually send these. these, 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 these the they're they're, they're gonna being get engaged. Um. Okay, but uh, if they want to charge, they have to charge across a bridge into a trench. A tall bridge. Uh, okay. 
A tall bridge, that's right. Ross or the booze. Uh, no. Actually, right, they can cross by... Wait, they... Actually, the high bridge ends over here. Alright, let's not get too technical with the map, though, because the orders were just the fortified booze. by the bridge. Seems... Okay. Oh, Ross or... That's good. Oh, no. Uh, oh, yeah, is it 12 turn? 12 30. Oh, Sean, you already oh. got that? Oh, I, I might have mistyped one of them. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah I, I, I got Scott's, don't worry. Okay. So, this arrives at like 1 p.m. because. This is not gonna arrive on time because there you can't follow this with uh. Scott's is off. All right then. Yep. I will. All right, General Sims. The fifty-first uh, and fifty-third start heading south as you ordered. The tenth uh, and fiftieth are manning the defenses facing south. You do hear new sounds of um, artillery. And small arms fire much closer, less than two miles away uh, to your southwest, probably where the high bridge is actually, um, in addition to the normal the sounds of battle you've been hearing further south. Okay, where's the high bridge? So that's the, you're at the Jamestown Bridge, high bridge is the next one southwest. Okay, all right. Okay. Well, we uh, we, uh, don't have any other orders, so we hold position. Okay, got it. See, I have a problem. Captain Desar, your air air balloon has been winched down, and you are uh, with your CIC, as you can tell. Will I be executed? (laughs) You're about to find (laughs) out. (laughs) No, I'm... I'm more merciful than that. <laughs> uh, the wagons with the balloons moving north now, right? That's your orders? Yeah, we want to go across the creek there where it's safe and a uh, shorter route. Okay. Got it. So, uh, yeah, that's the... Uh, all. The, the Confederates winched down their balloon... They just took down their balloon. Yeah, <laughs> I've been trying to convince the whole the CIC the whole game to get up in it. I think he would have done better if he could have seen things himself, but he didn't want to. But now he winched it down, and they're moving it north. So I don't know. Yeah, I think that's like this is that's a good uh, reason to call it. Well, are the Confederates going to hold? I know they're starting to break. I guess I should roll combat. Uh, well, the, these guys would advance, wouldn't they? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, but they're on. Uh, yeah, it's. Uh, we're waiting for Sean. Yeah, we'll just do that. They got nothing to shoot at, but they'll. Four, four. That's four. They're broken. Not surprised. But they're getting shot at as well. Oh, nope, not enough. We'll fall back and start shooting. Oh, those guys aren't advancing, these guys. The 16th is holding. All right. That's why I got the line there. Although, he, Scott said, just hold your positions. Well, I, I just heard some very strange words. Normally, I would be tempted to charge, but I can't see what's going on, so I'll hold off. What? What? <laughs> That's outrageous. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. This is late Kriegspiel. Of course you launch the bayonet charge. The game is almost it's over. Almost over. Now's the time. <laughs> well, uh... You're one of the fantasies or only a grasp of my hand, and you refuse? So, yeah. Yeah, yeah Terry's firing at... Up here. Yeah, they're they're now gonna try to charge uh, across this bridge. Just checking. This is the last turn, right? Yeah. Almost certainly. Uh, yeah. I mean, uh, the 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 
Confederate southern flank is in tatters. So. It's in tatters, but so is a lot of the no uh, Union, and it's... Oh, I I'd say it's so uh, southern tactical victory. Strategic I victory, I should say. The Union Actually, has these fresh units pretty much down here that are going to just be roll moving up the line around those uh, emplacements. So it... I just got told to hold off their attack, so... Oh, then never mind. Uh, they did not get told to hold off their attack. These units, 4th Brigade, they did not. They they told... He he said, continue basically advancing and firing. He just okay. didn't want a bayonet charge. Okay, that makes more you sense. You guys do need to be in combat right here. Yeah, yeah, yes. they're... And they're going to push them forward. That's about it. All right, let's yeah, go do. Okay. We'll do one more turn of orders in combat, and then we'll bring everyone in. So go ahead and go get twelve forty-five. Or do 12 okay. 11. All right. Wait, no, not that. James, the guy is on the trench line. They shot this turn already? Oh, yeah, I rolled for him. Yeah. Okay. So in the AAR, they want to withdraw towards Farley. We don't have to move them if they already shot. Okay. They're going towards Farley. All right, General Sims. Um, not much to change in terms of reports. Your men disappear in the distance to the south. Half your division. No, sorry, half your brigade. Um, still sounds of battle all in the distance to the southwest. Okay. Well, uh, no orders, nothing other to do. <laughs> all right. So, thank you. Yep. But yeah, on the southern side, we don't have defenses. Gentlemen, so you are and attacked heavily there. Moving north yeah. with the wagon and the trailing with the balloon in the air like a kite. Um, yep. Any any change of orders? Uh, well, what are the sounds of gunfire like? Uh, no change from before. It's um, pretty close to you still, about a mile away. Okay, yeah, well, we got to keep going. Uh, when we get to the bridge, we're going to put the balloon back up. We had a little convo, and I think we've worked out any uh, uh, communication issues. <laughs> okay, got it. Straighten things out, yeah. James, I just went ahead and broke the permits unit. Okay. Because if, uh, I don't know if you want to kill him, not kill him. Nah, it's, there's no point in it right now. Let's see. Calvary's going to be falling back. All right. Um, so they're going to continue to attack, but uh, Are they... he is now inspiring the men with his, you know. Are they bayonet charging across the bridge? Are they? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well then. Save me, Charles Darwin. Four, it's two, three, four. Yeah, that ain't gonna work. I didn't realize there were clean ons. Perhaps today is a good day to die. Oh, not killed. Right, that one breaks, though. Alright, so what are the Confederates the... doing? They're just generally falling back. Yeah, there's Looks some like... units uh, up here going to reinforce the bridge. 
But everything from here south is either broken or falling back to Farley. Yeah. Okay. 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 So I feel yeah. like the the um I feel like the question in the AAR um and I feel like in determining who won um obviously um we don't have you know what what's the status of the Confederate army coming up that they're supposed to secure the bridgeheads for? They had to well, um, they had to secure one or two of the bridges. So they Jamestown's still very secure, so I would say that yeah, they were but like, yeah. How like the victory what time frame is that? Because um Well just today, because the army's coming through tomorrow. Okay, because I feel like uh it's possible that the Union could clear this out. Yeah. Uh, I don't think so. They have one brigade that's fully broken and just beginning to recover. A lot of units are beginning to be tired out, and mm. it's going to take them uh, quite a while for them to fully recover and be able to essentially crack yeah, the nut yeah. that is James Town now. Yeah. Like, man, well, the ran away. These guys have no... Well, I guess they have uh, whoever this is right here, but everybody over here is currently kind of leaderless. Yeah, the problem, I, I guess, I suppose what I would say is that um, this isn't a bridge. This is a Ford. Um, I call it so, a bridge. Okay. Fair enough. All right, let's 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 go ahead and bring everyone to the lobby, and we'll, we can hash it out together. There. Yep. All right. Uh, I guess I'll just send out these last dispatches right now so I don't have to die. <laughs> All right. All right, welcome everyone. All right, so uh, for my normal spiel, um, I want to ask the two CICs: Do they think they achieved their objectives today? So we'll start with uh, the Union first. Uh, Brigadier General Reed, what do you think? Uh, our, our primary objective was to prevent Farmville from falling into rebel hands. Um, and I think that we've succeeded unless I unless something happened and I'm not aware of. Um, uh, so I think uh, we've done our orders. And I think our secondary objective to engage uh, Lee's army and prevent them from um, escaping um, un unscathed uh, was also completed. Uh, that's that's that wasn't like an order given to us. That's just kind of something that I decided. So yeah. okay. uh, I think we've uh, I think we successfully done that. Yeah. All right. Uh... General Reed, no, that was Reed. R Rosser, on the computer Rosser. side. That would be me. Yes. Um, well, from the sound of it, is we had mismatched victory conditions because we had to hold on to the bridges, and since we succeeded in doing that, uh, I believe that uh, we fulfilled our victory conditions as well. I appreciate the authentic twang. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right. Let me share my screen. So, as everyone knows, this was a, this wasn't a real battle, although there was a battle of Highbridge that was much smaller, uh, and I loosely based this battle on that, um, but most of it was fictional. Um, but it was a test of could a a force that had superior knowledge but inferior force defeat a force that had uh, superior number. So the Union uh, outnumbered the Confederates about two to one, um, but the Confederates had a number of advantages. Um, one, they had a better map than the Confederates. Um, you mean Union? <coughs> sorry, the Confederate had better maps than the Union. Um, they had, uh, so their orders were to take the bridge. The Union oh. didn't know that at all. Um, all they knew is that there were Confederates in their area and that they were mostly tasked to defend Farmville. So um, Kevin didn't know the intentions of the Confederates and kind of had to guess at it and make up his own orders because he hadn't had anything specific. So um, a deficit of understanding of the enemy intentions. And then the main thing was the Confederates had a balloon 
so they had a man in, in the air that could basically see the whole battlefield, the whole game. <laughs> um, the only limitation was communicating what he could see down to his men. So he, he used a flag system in Morse code, which in our game meant he could only write 10 words of a message each turn to, oh. to, to communicate what he was seeing. Um, but that, that's still pr very powerful. So um, we'll hear from the players how they thought that worked out. Um, but in terms of what happened, so Union all started at Farmville. Confederates all started in this camp over here. Um, the Confederates early on uh, had a bit of a traffic jam. There were some missed orders. Um, I think DuBose it was ended up heading towards Jamestown and then had to turn around. And then Dupose and Fitzgerald were kind of running all over each other. So they, they were a little bit slower getting to the high bridge than I think was expected. Uh, Sims came up north and made, a, we're calling it a Fortress Marshall. Um, <laughs> he, had, he had a trench simulator the whole game. Um, he did have one casualty. One man drowned while he was cooling off in the river. Um, so he'll have to answer for that. But other than that, um, sorry, Marshall, for your trench simulator game. Uh, however, your your uh, efforts at your super fortress um, did result in victory for the Confederates. Um, and then down yeah. south, uh, let's see, the Union 3rd Brigade, I think, was tasked with defending to the north because Kevin didn't know it was coming. Uh, and then the other three brigades marched east. One of them ended up going off map and had you know did some craziness around here because you didn't know where the map was since you didn't have the same one. Um, but eventually you ran into the Confederate line, which was here, as you found out. Um, they had been entrenching as well, setting up breastworks. Um, there's a big attack that eventually developed and went all along here. Um, and on this section, it was basically repulsed. I think all of 2nd Brigade is basically done today. Um, towards the end, 3rd Brigade has just arrived, and they are charging across the bridge. Um, but that 1st Regiment said across is breaking. Um, I'm not sure they'd be able to crop, make it across the bridge. That's a hard, hard thing to do. And further south, where the Confederates weren't quite as prepared with breastworks and whatnot, um, they are breaking. We do have several regiments here breaking. I don't know who they're under, but um, most of the Union is pretty worn out, broken, except for these three here, the 64th New York, 53rd Pennsylvania, and 66th New York. They're kind of wrapping up the Confederate left. So the Confederates uh, there are, are fresh they're falling Union back. Union. Uh, I think some of them are coming to reinforce High Bridge, and some are moving to Farley. Um so, but I, the unions are pretty worn out. So I don't think that the Confederates would be fully destroyed. And especially if they got pushed back all the way to Jamestown and the super fortress, they wouldn't break that. Um, so the Confederates would be able to hold the fortress today in time for the rest of the Confederate army under Lee to arrive and cross the Appomattox and continue westward. Um, so it was, it was fun, uh, interesting little scenario, a little bit different from what we normally do. Appreciate everyone playing and apologize to those that had... Uh, defense simulator or marching simulator um let's go ahead and go down the umpire line and have share all your experiences then we'll go to the players so we can top to bottom we'll start with mcpanzer uh sure so i had the confederate left with chinleaf and kermit um so i had not quite as much ditch digging simulator i thought they initially mismatched who was going where but they they noticed quickly and they fixed it quickly and they ended up co-located and hashed it out in like 30 minutes which was really well done i don't have a ton to say uh i do think i should shout out uh kevin because i watched the union planning channel all week and i just had an absolute blast watching kevin uh, plan the game so i think you did a really fantastic job very detailed planning in a game that was intentionally supposed to be hard for you to plan. So yeah. 10 out of 10 would take you out of my team any day. Oh, that's very kind of you to say. Thank you. Yeah, I agree. Um, all right, Umpire Lancer. Um, so I had uh, Reed at the start, but he got quickly handed off. Um, but I had... Um, 
Well, he's no longer here now, but uh, I had Scott first uh, division for or first uh, brigade for most of the game. Um, I would say that for most of it, he just was kind of enveloping the line. He was in the center of the Confederates, or he was in the center of the Union, but facing the center of the Confederates. I'd say if he had to make him, if he made a mistake, it was charging the Confederate line at a spot where they had artillery that they turned and shot canister into, kind of breaking up that attack pretty easily. Um, yeah, that's all from me. All right, thank you. Umpire Park. Hey, uh, so uh, today I was in charge of uh, dispatches. Unfortunately, uh, there was a lot of dispatching going around, so I didn't really have time to read them. But uh, I do have to give a bit of a notice. Um, so basically, the entire, whilst the, uh, most of the Union Army was marching towards uh, the High Bridge Railway, uh, they were pretty much all getting their messages uh, sent at a pretty good pace. Every other turn, every uh, turn, next turn, they would give them the, the message. Except at a certain point, Matt Hill was uh, too far from Reed. I think he was still in Farmville, while Reed and Fourth Brigade were pretty much all the way down uh, around this part here, you know, around here or something. That was pretty much way too far for the messages to get here uh, on time. But uh, eventually, Matt Hill uh, decided to move on his own. But even then, that wasn't uh, that didn't really uh, do anything good for uh, the the message timing, as it would pretty much arrive progressively two turns behind and three turns behind because uh, the the river is not affordable anywhere. Besides back at Farmville. Uh, so yeah, eventually uh, near the end, uh, Matt Hill's messages probably wouldn't be able to make it to read. So that that was something interesting. Uh, meanwhile, the co the Confederate forces were pretty much all together. We were able to get their messages basically the next turn and uh, keep our coordination to a certain uh, degree. Uh, the balloon was pretty much in, in charge of sending messages instantly. Uh, it, it had the possibility of sending messages like with with ten words, but they were pretty much instant, and anybody could read them. Everybody could see it, and everybody could uh, reply to the balloon pretty much instantly. And uh, yeah, that was that felt really good. It pretty much uh, kept Cornish to a certain amount, but. Uh, I'm pretty. Sh I'm not sure about a certain point, but I think when the balloon was sending the message, it was kind of like uh, a lot of question marks, <laughs> which I, I, I was wondering. Like, you know, um, I wasn't sure what was the concern there, but I, I'm sure we will get an explanation from the player. Uh, and yeah, that was pretty good. Okay, I I forgot to mention we did get. Let's see, we went almost. Five hours of well marching in combat, um, so we flew through this game, um, partially thanks to how many umpires we had. So I'm grateful we had so many umpires. But all right, umpire Sean. Uh, yeah, I would say um, I had uh, fourth brigade, and then when that player had to leave, I took over uh, Reed, um, and I also had third brigade. Um, and obviously, um, uh, you know, with the Union objective being to hold Farmville, um, you know, it's kind of understandable that um, Brigade was left here, but there was kind of a lot of um, marching and then counter-marching uh, that went on. Um, and it was, um, I think if the Union had committed to one course of action in regards to where they were going to commit third brigade could have won this scenario. Um, but, um, uh, as it is they're um, you know, that they're, they're too late, um, to have a really decisive impact. Okay. Um, yeah. Thank you. Empire's Lake. Uh yeah, I was mainly in charge of um 
a Union 2nd Brigade, but I was also uh, assisting with 1st and Reed at times. So I, mainly, I really got to saw a lot of the Southern attack, and it developed very. Um, hmm, it wasn't. Uh, it not did not. It wasn't one single attack. It was mainly just a bunch of smaller attacks that sometimes landed, sometimes didn't, and in Nugent's case, really didn't go so well. I do apologize that he had to see his men retreat and kind of had to dwell in it for a little while. I do apologize for that. Um, I think the Union planned very well for in a situation that they, I know it said before, that they really should have been able to plan well, and I think that has to be commended. Uh, however, I do think um, their, uh, their biggest mistake was not uh, committing all their forces to one action. I understand why they didn't do that, but uh, if you have an advantage in numbers, you need to... It, it basically exploited it with a concentration. And yes, three brigades was, in hindsight, probably felt like enough, but in reality, wasn't. They needed all four brigades for an attack on a strong line that the Confederates had um, on the south side, on the south bank. I think tactically, if I had to call this tactically... Union victory for the day, but strategically overall, it's a Confederate victory as they've held Jamestown and all that. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, it's very interesting idea, very um, fun, and it went off essentially without a hitch. Thank you. All right, now for the players, starting with uh, General James Sims. Uh, let's see here. Um, I... I ordered my men to make bricks, um, it, and I learned that if you want to win, and I am on your team, have me fortify a position. <laughs> so. Put, put Marshall <laughs> so in the I, rear. Yeah. There's been a lot of that going around. <laughs> yeah. Don't put him in you, you know, Yeah, here's the thing. I, I think most people would frown at uh, fortification simulator or marching simulator for me I'm just as happy to do this as to have a role on the front line because for me this is the activity and sometimes you, you this is the duty that you get and it was also possible that I could have been one of the most heavily engaged persons at the most critical part of the line so when you have that spirit and you keep that in mind, you realize that, you know, it just, today wasn't my day, but another day it might be. Nonetheless, this was the activity, and I played it uh, as well as I could. So, there you have it. Yeah, it beats the hell out of sinking your own submarine. <laughs> right? 